channel today I'm pretty excited that we're gonna be doing a mostly all drugstore makeup tutorial now the primer that I'm using right here from the ordinary is a new primer I've been dipping into the last couple weeks and I do like it it is for oily skin though so if you have dry skin they have a different primer from that brand that you can use now I'm just going in with my L'Oreal infallible pro glow foundation and I'm just gonna blend that out with my damp beauty blender Okay, so this is the only product that is not from the drugstore and it's of course my Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This is such a heavy duty, thick consistency concealer but I love it because it holds my concealer all day. I don't feel any creasing underneath my eye and it really does stay in place longer than like 8 hours so it's one of my favorite. Now I'm just going to blend that out with my damn beauty blender just like I did with my foundation. Just kidding, my setting powder is also not drugstore, sorry. <laughs> it's because this Dermablend setting powder is honestly life, you guys. I would even go as far as saying that this setting powder is better than Laura Mercier. I have not dipped into any other setting powder since I picked this up because of how long it keeps my face matte. It's definitely one of my new favorite products. However, an alternative would be using the Cody Airspun Extra Translucent Coverage Setting Powder. That is hands down the best drugstore setting powder I have ever used. Let's dip into some bronzer, shall we? This one is from Milani and it's in the shade Bronze Glow. I love this bronzer for two reasons. One, it doesn't have any great undertones, therefore it doesn't make me look ashy. Also, it's super blendable, therefore it doesn't give me any like chalky patches. So I really, really like this bronzer. I'm really glad I was able to dip back into it. pencil in the color ash brown to apply my eyebrows today with the wonders of editing boom brows are done <laughs> now we're just going to be priming our eyelid and prepping for the eyeshadow we are going to be placing on top pulling out an oldie but certainly a goodie which is my Morphe 350 palette. I'm grabbing the lightest shade in that palette and I'm just going to be applying that all over my eye. This is just going to be our base color before we go in with any transition shades. I'm trying to find the perfect brown nude to go in next in the crease and I'm grabbing the third row second color over to the right and I'm just going to be placing this all in my crease from the outer corner to the inner corner. darker color. I'm going to grab the fifth shade over to the right on the bottom row and I'm going to be smoking that out in my crease. I'm not going to go too close in my inner corner because I really want to focus this on the outer portion of my eye. Giving it that smoky effect. I'm going in circular motions. I'm just building this color until it's dark enough for me and then I'm just going to blend it out making sure that there's no harsh lines.
where the fun part begins. I'm going to be using my Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. This is truly the most beautiful combo ever. I just love the idea of applying this really pretty pigmented cream shade first and if you wanted to you could just leave it just like that and you do not need to apply the glitter on top however if you want to apply the glitter on top like I did you really want to make sure that you wait for that cream shade to dry fully if you apply the glitter right on top of the cream while it's still wet and damped you're gonna run into some problems it's gonna end up peeling off for you once it's dry and it's just no bueno so make sure you wait for that to dry and then apply the glitter on top now I'm just gonna be smoking out my bottom lash line with these two really pretty brown shades in this palette going to be lining our lips and I'm going to be applying the new Wet n Wild Liquid Lipsticks. These are truly amazing. I love them. They are very, very good. I do feel like they're a little drying, but for the price you pay, which is like $4.60, I feel that it is a very good product and I think I'm going to actually be going online and purchasing all the colors. That way I can do a swatch tutorial for you guys. But um, unfortunately, my battery did die before applying the liquid lipstick, so you kind of only see the aftermath, but it is a super beautiful shade, extremely vampy and dark. And if you are not on the bandwagon with using this Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, you guys are missing out. It is such an amazing mascara. Half the time during the week, I don't even apply falsies because this mascara really does volumize my lashes and give it more of like a longer appearance. Next, I'm going to be highlighting my face using my Wet n Wild highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. For any of those who are not familiar with this highlight, lighter Whoo, baby girl baby girl baby girl you need to go and purchase this as soon as it's in stock in your local drugstore because I'm telling you guys this is hands down hands down the best drugstore highlighter and it is only just a few dollars when this is in stock in my local drugstore I pick up at least two to three just in case I'm not able to get my hands on it again for a couple of months because I'm telling you guys it sells out super fast with my new favorite liquid eyeliner which is from Wet n Wild. It is amazing. It's black and matte. I don't care for my previous go to eyeliner which is from Maybelline and it was the Line Stiletto liquid eyeliner. 
because it did have like more of a shine finish to it but all I'm doing is covering up any lash glue I'm not gonna go in with a wing line today because I really want the glitter to pop on my eye and be the main focus to be highlighting my inner tear duct with this Morphe pressed pigment. This completes today's makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I am going to be having a new Wine and Chit Chat Series 2 video go up, so please stay tuned for that. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a good thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.